How do you like the food? It tastes really great. Did you cook it? Yes. I made it this afternoon. Would you like some more? Okay. Just a little, though. I'm really full. Oh. Would you like some soup instead? What kind is it? Tomato and rice. Have you had that before? No. This is my first time. How does it taste? It's good. Try it. What do you think? Wow, it is good. Did you make that also? Yes. Thanks. Next time I'll make chicken soup for us. That sounds good. Did you study cooking in school? No, I learned by myself. I have a good cookbook that I read when I have time. Kelly, will you help me take these things to the car? Okay. Which car do you want me to put them in? Bring them to my wife's car. Which one is hers? The blue SUV in front of the Honda. What should I take first? That chair over there. But please be careful with it. It was a gift from my mother-in-law. Don't worry. I won't drop it. Wow, it's really heavy. I don't think I can move it by myself. Let me help you with that. I don't want you to hurt your back. Where are you taking all this stuff? Didn't I tell you? We're moving to Florida. You're moving now? I knew you were moving, but I thought you said you were moving next month. Yes, that's true. But my wife found a new apartment on the Internet the other day, and she wants to move right away. Judy, your husband has a really nice car. Thanks. It's a lot better than mine, and it's new. Where are you going? We're going to visit my sister in the city. I didn't know your sister lives in the city. When did she move there? About a year ago. She lives in an apartment on 3rd Street, across from the public library. I see. It's almost 5 now. Don't you think there will be a lot of traffic? Oh, we're not driving. We're going to take the subway. The subway only takes about 20 minutes. Yes, but it can be very crowded around this time. I always feel uncomfortable taking the subway. I take the subway to work every day, so I'm used to it now. Doesn't your mother live in the city? Yes, she's lived there for about 10 years. I remember when she moved there. Apartments were a lot cheaper then. I know what you mean. It's hard to find anything that's reasonable now. Have a good time. Next time you're free, give me a call, and we'll go play poker. See you later. Jim, I heard you took a trip to San Diego. Is that right? Yeah. I just got back this morning. That sounds really nice. What did you do there? Well, we were only there for three days, so we didn't do too much. We went shopping and went out to dinner a few times, and at night we walked around the city with some friends. Did you take any pictures? Yes, I have them with me. Do you want to look at them? Sure. I love looking at photos. This one is of my wife and me on the beach. And this one is our daughter Emily, standing next to my wife. Your daughter looks like her mother. I know. They look very similar. Where was this picture taken? That was taken at the train station before we left. Did you have time to go to the zoo? No, not this time. We went there last time. It looks like you all had a nice time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun.
Good afternoon. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to order some flowers. Who are they for? They're for my wife. Her name is Samantha. What kind of flowers would you like? I don't know. I don't know too much about flowers. Can you recommend something? Okay. What's the reason you're sending her flowers? Today's her birthday, and she told me she wants me to buy her flowers. Do you know what kind of flowers she likes? I'm not sure. I know I should know that, but I can't remember right now. Well, they're for your wife, so I think you should give her roses. Roses will be fine. What color? I think red would be nice. Do you want to pick them up, or should we deliver them? Can you deliver them, please? What's the address? 241 Main Street. Hello? Hi. Is Heather there, please? Sorry, I think you have the wrong number. Is this 617-228-2289? Yes. Who are you looking for again? Heather Johnson. Oh, I thought you said Laura. Sorry about that. This is the right number, but Heather's not here right now. Do you know where she went? She went to the store to buy some groceries. Would you like to leave a message? Yes. Would you please tell her Eric Martin called? Hi, Eric. This is her roommate, Kathy. I met you a couple of months ago at the Christmas party. Oh, yes. How are you? Good. Heather will be back in about 20 minutes. I'll tell her you called. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hello? Hi, Tina. It's Joe. Hi, Joe. How's the weather there today? It's really cold. It snowed all day and the school's closed early. What's the temperature? It's 30 degrees now. It was even colder this morning. Have you heard what the weather is going to be like tomorrow? I was watching the news a little earlier. They said it's probably going to snow tomorrow. I really don't like the winter. I wish it were summer. Me too. How's the weather where you are? It's not too bad, but it's pretty cold here too. It was about 45 today, and it rained this afternoon. I heard it's going to be a little warmer tomorrow. It's almost Christmas. What are you doing this weekend? Nothing special. Just working. Why do you ask? Well, I still haven't finished my Christmas shopping. Do you want to go shopping with me this weekend? I'd like to, but I'm not sure if I can. Work has been really busy lately. Why don't we go on Friday instead? Friday's not good. I think the stores will be very crowded, and I have to work. Okay, then let's try to go this weekend. I should know if I can go by Friday. Is it okay if I call you then? Yeah, that's fine. What's your number? 223-331-8828. Let me give you my email address, too. It's tom861 at gmail.com. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Hello? Hi, Vicky. Are you there yet? Yes. I just got off the subway. I'm almost there. 
Sorry I'm late. That's no problem. I just wanted to tell you I'm inside. Where are you? On the second floor. Should I come to the second floor? Or do you want to come down to the first floor? Come upstairs. What? Oh, can you hear me okay? I said come to the second floor. Oh, okay. What are you doing there? Just looking at some books on how to learn English. Do you want to get something to eat later? No, I'm still full from dinner. What do you want to do? I don't know for sure. When you get here, we'll talk about it. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Craig, what do you do for work? I'm still a student. What school do you go to? Boston University. That's a good school. What do you study? I'm studying English, math, and history. My major is English. How long have you been studying English? More than six years. That's a long time. Yeah. I started to learn English when I was in high school. No wonder your English is so good. Actually, it's not that good. I can read, but I can't speak very well. I haven't had a lot of chance to practice. I see. Talking with other people is very important. Yes, but I still don't have many friends here yet. I'm having a party tonight at my apartment. You should come. Oh, thanks for inviting me. I'd love to come.